Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Illiterate Book Club. I'm Matt. I'm John. And we were forced to move our set because of my wife. Don't don't blame things on her. Okay, I just really like the pink background. That's that's the truth of it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is our uh, full spoiler review slash discussion about Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, we've both seen it by now. It's kind of been out for a little bit, so we figured we'll dive deep into it. Yeah. So what was your initial impressions of everything? And uh, we'll start from there. Uh, yeah, I, to me, it was it was a fun movie. Classic Marvel stuff. You know, you had the fun adventures. You had had really interesting things with this movie because I, I was really excited about it being the first movie after Endgame. Right. And so you had the beginning where they kind of did explain some of the aftermath of, right. of the snap and all of that which they call the blip yeah 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 and so i, I thought, actually thought that was a pretty great part yeah i thought that was a good part and so that explains why you have the original main core group from the first spider-man movie still in high school yeah they were all part of the blip right and so that was well done i thought jake gyllenhaal as mysterio excellent did a yeah. Good job, and I thought they played the Mysterio storyline really well. I mean, right. for those of us who are like familiar with the comic stories yeah. and, the cart- and the cartoons and all that, we're, we're pretty familiar with Mysterio, so we knew the turn was yeah, coming. I knew it had to be, and, yeah. and it was it was coming at some point. I, I do feel like that whole like "I am the villain" speech was oh, a little yeah. bit like. I mean, I get it was kind of cool the way that they incorporated it in, but it was a little heavy-handed at the same bit. time. Uh, and that kind of played into the way they played Mysterio in this movie. Yeah, because, like, I mean, being he very is very bombastic. A, right, and, he's a graphic. He wants, like, everything to be a show, and so that's yeah. kind of... It made sense. But, Big, uh, dramatic kind of, yeah, you know, speeches and all that. So that that was fun. That, yeah. And good thing. Brought the Christmas that. story guy back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then had the, um, the MJ... That right. was kind of an interesting. They're they're playing MJ different than the traditional MJ, right? And in, I, in a few different ways. Actually, like it really. This movie has really like step up, stepped up my appreciation for Zendaya. I think is her name uh, Zendaya as an actress. Uh, like uh, like you know, I'm not that I ever thought she was necessarily bad, but sure. you you. you you never really saw her necessarily play completely out of her range. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you really see her in interviews and you see her, I mean, she's a really gorgeous girl and real, you know, and she seems like she would be like popular and everything. You know what I mean? And this like gets her, like her playing with her insecurities there and like just the subtle right. nature of her. Yeah, the I'm first like, Spider Man movie was much more reserved right. version well, of a character. She was just, you know, she was snarky, making little yeah, comments, but you didn't. Stand offish a little bit. Right, but you didn't see like like the nervous like ticks or the right. things like that. I just thought the way she played that, and I don't know her backstory, but if you see her just in interviews and whatever, you'd think, oh man, this is just, this is just a pretty girl, pretty actress that, you know, she's probably, you know, you would again. You just—it's hard to assume anything about anybody's life, but you wouldn't assume that she would have the same, I guess, nerdy insecurities that maybe this MJ has, and she's able just to tap into whatever she's tapping into, and just really pull right. it out. I feel right. like she's the stand, yeah, I mean, it was, it standout was good, uh, performance. To millennial me. teenage angst kind of thing right. going on. I just, and that was, yeah, I've seen really it. Well. I've actually seen it three times now. So, uh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I would have saw it just twice. Like, I didn't necessarily intend to go see it the third time, but um, my brother was in town and hadn't seen it. So, yeah, he just fell into the movie and was well, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm here. here. I I'll have that little, I'll watch it. A little mm-hmm. subscription thing. But, anyways, I mean, it's, it, it's, right. it's good. It, it held up all three times. Um, but I feel like her, like, you, you expect Jillian Hall to be great, and he is. Right. You expect Samuel Jackson to play his. Samuel Jackson, Nick Fury. Yeah. So, and Tom Holland obviously carries the movie, and everybody has a good thing. But as far right. as like my breakout surprise was her. Yeah, I could see that. I thought the the best friend having the the summer girlfriend that, that was, was hilarious. That was really funny. That was spot on for you know growing up and having that couple <laughs> that everyone hates because they're just like instantly a couple. And, miss you, miss you yeah, more. <laughs> just awful. And then uh, what was the guy's name? I can't think of it. Uh, I almost killed Brad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that guy. And Brad. Yeah. That was, that was. The challenger. That was like the yeah. perfect little situation. Okay, so let's talk a couple yeah, yeah, yeah. couple of the twists yeah. for, for the movie. You had um, 
I guess the first most obvious twist was the Mysterio twist, him really being a villain. Right, and and I'm glad they didn't go with... And I knew for some way he was going to be the villain, but a lot of people kind of had it like, well, maybe this is a different version of Mysterio, and there's going to be like another Earth guy that comes in and it's actually... Right. And I'm so glad they didn't open up the multiverse. You know, that Pandora's box is just too, well, I mean, too I, far. It's, it's one of those things where if you're going to do the multiverse, you have to be... They're going to, it would have to be a little bit later on, I think. Like, they're, for a cinematic thing, like, the Spider-Man multiverse could be its own cinematic thing apart from the rest of the MCU. Right, well, because I'm talking about the, massive it is. the MCU multiverse. I know Spider-Man has Into the Multiverse. That's a little kind of different with what they're doing with Sony or that. Right, that well, I mean, Spider-Man's one. the one that, the character that most often interacts with the Maybe, other parts yeah, of yeah. the multiverse. I can, I can see that. But at the same time, I just feel like the multiverse idea is what really kind of destroyed a lot of comics for a while. You know, they like they've had to basically do that and then yeah. be like, "Oh, we're going to collapse it back into this." Again, world. that was uh, sort of my complaint of in game in general is like there's a little bit of a a shortcuttiness to it. A little bit. And that's that's what the multiverse gets used for a lot is to right. like reset things I, I just and like it, shortcut yeah. storylines. It just doesn't feel like the stakes are uh are very right. high when you do that kind of stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so I was glad they didn't go. That was the right. first big twist. Uh, what would you say that the next big twist was? Well, for me, the next big twist was having the. It's not really Nick Fury. Right. And that was fun. That yeah, that yeah. kind of, I kind of remember backwards. I didn't see it multiple times like you did. Yeah, so maybe, yeah. you, like. In some of the parts, I noticed that like the Nick Fury character, like some of those dialogue scenes, felt a little more like, awkward, funny right, right, than right. normal Nick Fury. Right, he definitely didn't seem as serious, and they also seemed like they had a little bit of more of a relationship. You right. You know what I mean? Like, him and Michelle, and it made sense because they're married. You know, yeah, now that, you, like, yeah. in retrospect, it's in like, retrospect, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see now. The, the, the but that was fun. And then, of course, that kind of, if we jump over the first end credit scene to the second end credit scene... Yeah, yeah. Where Nick Fury really is right, this right. whole time. Yeah, which I, I think they have went on and said, like, you know, it was supposed to be after the funeral. Like, it hadn't been like they'd been there, like, the whole time. Right, yeah, right, or, right. Yeah, and like, so he, the, he just left after that funeral. And so being left. it's those, those that alien group right. with Nick Fury in space. Like, where is that going to take Is you? it going to be another Captain Marvel tie-in, or is this going to be something right. that ties in with a Galactus yeah, yeah. kind of bigger story arc, something right. happening right, elsewhere. Right. Yeah, I mean, that that, that was cool. Um, I, I do I do think there was just something that kind of struck me as, like, odd about that scenario with... Because, it, like, like, even there's a part where Happy, like, delivers some very obscure code... To right. him, and like he gets the idea. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, like he, and, and he didn't I'm, get the code, but he picked up. Oh, wait, he didn't get the code because that's no, because no, that was the joke, right? Because they he said, Oh, I you got my code, and he's like, Oh, yeah, I totally knew what that meant. And then oh, she was oh, like, oh. No, he didn't get it at all. No, he said, No, he said, Yeah, he said, You might as well have winked to the camera, and then he said. It helps that I already had suspicions about Mister oh, right, Beck, right, right. and then that's what she says. She says he had no suspicions yeah, like that. That's right. So it, to but me, I like that didn't make that... sense. Like so, Nick Fury went through like every possible. Well, that's like, what I'm saying. I think he code. was like that was yeah. the maybe yeah. the faking, and maybe he was saying it, right. an actual code that right. Nick Fury would have gotten. And then also the and I've heard this being said, and it did kind of like click a little weird with me. Is that okay? They're like an he does make a joke of it at the end, saying. You know, it's such an embarrassment for a shapeshifter to not catch this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like Quint, Quentin Beck, I think it was his name. Like, you, no one could do a goddamn Google search. Oh, excuse my language. I guess a little too far, maybe. <laughs> but seriously, right, like, you right. know what I mean? Like, you worked for Tony Stark. You were a graphic guy. You had Edith on. Edith gives you a profile of people. Yeah. And it's like, and then this is like an advanced alien species. Like you, you wouldn't be able to see through some illusion tech. You know right. What I mean, like, I mean I then know. again, with the extensive thing, like maybe he removed himself from it, like the background. Cause you know, the, the other 
yeah. it showed the other guy that was driving the bus was blocked. Like his file was blocked. Ah, uh, gotcha. And so maybe they, like he restricted his own files or something. I mean, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. we could give a little leeway to that, I think. Okay, but yeah, yeah. we're running out of time. So let's just cover the last, the big okay. kind of reveal. Big reveal. And I love the movie, obviously. I saw it Right. Times. So, so at the very end, the last act of Mysterio that we know of. Yeah. Revealing Spider-Man's secret identity to the entire world. And, and J.K. And making, Simmons coming and, back as... And, yeah, the <laughs> Joan Jame, Jim, the, yeah. The, yeah, Jameson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. And I'm so awesome. glad they got him back. Because yeah, he was I know, so like, perfect he's in like that the, part he's like the to best. begin with. Yeah. I mean that was that was great, and and, and so have, and plus having him as not as the like traditional news source guy, but it looks like he's, he's like the like, Alex Jones, yeah, of... yeah, you know, the conspiracy theory YouTuber, <laughs> right, right, and so like that's gonna be hilarious to see that play out, but you know, like he's made out to be the bad guy, mm-hmm. and everyone knows his name, so, so where's it go from there? Like if it... I from so from what it seems like there could very well be. Either another Spider-Man before the next Avengers, which they can deal with this. Mm. But I mean, without another, without in. other crossovers, right. this is something that like he's gonna maybe he'll be in hiding or something. I think this actually kind of opens the door for Craven for sure, mm. and because they already kind of mentioned the idea that uh, the Venom verse might they might intertwine, like they've really like. It went from being like, oh, this is what people are saying to like where Kevin Feige's like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of up to uh, Sony, you know. But so at first it was like, no, that's not happening. And then now even Kevin Feige's kind of dropping little hints. Yeah. So that could be since Venom is like also a, you know, semi, even though he's like an anti-hero, he's a hero in this world. Like that could be a reason for them them to go go at odds and then also with like craven you could get the idea that like okay craven just thinks he's some vigilante bad guy you know what i mean yeah. and he thinks well, and he's that's doing a bad thing too other like in the marvel universe spider-man has probably the richest catalog of villains oh absolutely and so anything they do from there on out will be i think they have a lot of room to move with. right i absolutely think there is going to be another spider-man before the next Avengers. I just don't know if he might show up in somebody else's film, though. Or right. I mean, because you think like of, that. like, the the first phase, what was there, two two Spider, two Spider Iron Mans before the first Avengers? Right, and, well, there's been two Spider-Mans in, in So now phase. we've had this. This is the second Spider-Man. In phase three. Yeah, well. Well, I mean. Yeah, yeah, because this is the yeah. end of phase three. So right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. So it's easy. It would be easy to see them fitting in another one. Yeah, yeah. Because he, I mean, if he's going to be the next Iron Man, so to speak, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as like taking up the central character, role, right, right, right. I understand the two major pillars of the original Avengers are gone. Yeah. Are gone. Yeah. So now we have to. Who's the new Avengers crew right. going to really be? Just announced the fourth Thor. Four. So, yeah, anyways. with the same director. So right, that's right, going right. to be exciting. That, that could be a video for a different day. Anyway, so uh, thanks for joining us for this discussion. Right. We would, did y'all tell us how y'all liked it in the comments? Uh, is there anything that stuck out particular to you? Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and we're out of here.